This is not a truck video. It's too cold to work outside today. On the go. I think that's all we need. Let's get inside. The project I have for you is a little prop. Mini gun. You are closer than most people would be and variety of tools here so we get the saw I got this PVC piping what are we 20 mil uh, contact adhesive cement for the PVC not not ABS and a, f a few things from just thrift store this big guy measure up let's get to cutting not going to be super accurate but we don't have to be super, super accurate, but... And then, just to be even, line ourselves up there. Being right handed is probably easier this way. Line ourselves up and keep going four more times. Okay, uh, I want to make a hole for the gun. I can kind of see here what I got, or cut a hole for the gun. So I just used what I had handy to me. Um, always use pencil. Marker can bleed through. In case you didn't know. And cut it out. Uh, sharp, sharp box cutter. I put a brand new blade in. These are not a lot of money. So I have a, kind of a sacrificial piece of EVA foam here the cat's gotten to and just as smooth as you can cut that out and be careful but more time you spend here the less time you'll spend sanding of course this EVA foam you can sand it smooth so if you do mess up a cut or get it a little bit out of whack, you can de-whack it. And that is our whole half of an Oreo. I found this little six-sided toy that's all I'm going to use. So, um, this is from a Nerf style uh, gun. I, they are a wealth of kind of little prop detailed things. You buy them from the thrift store. Super cheap. Great tip. So the point, I'm just going to go point to point here. You're probably not going to make this out on the camera. But I'm just trying to get six lines here. About three for my six pointed. Whatever. So six, six pies on there. I think you can see that. 
And then uh, these are my scraps from my cuttings of the PVC pipe. I've done absolutely nothing to them. All I'm going to do is press down where I want my hole. So I'm, I'm just approximating from the edge and I'm just going to push, push hard. That makes a perfect hole. Again. And I've done nothing to this pipe. I'm cut. So I promised to show you how to make that, but things got a little out of hand with the PVC. I made the back handle of Heavy's gun. Now Heavy's gun doesn't come down like this. It's more comes in but again to me it's, it won't be noticeable there'll be too much else going on so this is a, a nice easy way to tie it in the size of my the, I don't know what you want to call that my Oreos uh, are about the size of this tube and this is where a little bit of planning comes in. I know I'm, it looks like I'm just winging it, but this, this tube is the size, the same length as my, my foam mat. So that wasn't by accident. So uh, it just keeps it simple, all one piece. So you're gonna need a sh better straight edge, for, uh, a better straight edge for this. I happen to have something straight, but I don't know, just a, a stick, a board, something relatively straight is going to make life easier. Just a nice, straight, firm, deliberate cut. I like it about there. That was a lot easier for me to cut. It's still a little big. Here's my... We've got quite a bit of overlap there. So I'm going to cut about there. And we'll go at this, just take a little bit off at a time. I think that will line up pretty good. Okay, heat gun. So you're going to want to sand it. I got a little sandpaper here. Um, dirty sandpaper apparently, but um, I'm just going to do a little work to this. Get it absolutely straight across. And uh, just so the seam looks better, again, and a um, little less work in the end. Sit in the garage, a little cold. So it's going to make me. So it holds perfect. Well, it's not, it's not perfect. So, you know, shape like that. It's not going to be the same. I'll let it cool in that shape, and we'll see what happens. Pretty good, I almost have a circle. So, uh, contact cement, water-based or latex. I just get a little piece of foam, apply it along there at the edge. So, the uh, benefit of EVA foam, or EVA foam, contact cement, it, uh, it adheres instantly. But it takes 15 minutes to dry before you adhere it. So now we wait. Gonna try to get an even coat. And this stuff can be um you can think it's like just dry, 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 and it'll still stick. Okay, we got it pretty well set up. It's totally dry to the touch. Let's see if I can make this 
You guys just see if you can see anything. Whoa! Don't touch them yet. I'm gonna go kinda. I don't know if you can see it inverted. You got one. One shot. Push it together. Zing. Pretty good. Where's my Oreo? Kinda, sorta. Very nice. While I was waiting for the glue to dry, uh, I made up a couple of pieces for the drum underneath oh, Heavy's gun. The drum back here. So uh, this will be foam. This will be tin can from the thrift store. So same thing. Glue's dried up. This scene we might see, so I'm going to try to spend a little more time with it. Just getting it. Yeah, this is my finish outside. This will be my inside. I haven't curved it yet because I just want it to be oh so perfect. Lining the seams up. I took a little time getting that cut good. You can see it there. I uh, heated up the pipe, smoking hot, and uh, bent, put it under water, and it got a nice little homemade elbow there. So uh, I will maybe use that as do not do it again over here, and make that part of my handle. It's a little bit beyond 90, but. There's some flex there. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Keep watching. We are day two and it is even colder. What? Just made, shooting a video, Jack. I did some things. I attached my front handle. But you're going to notice I attached it on a bit of an angle. And then my, my battery, my cam. So I uh, got the tube, got an end glued in. Nothing too fancy. Uh, uh, it's, to me that's not seen. So I can fix it up with some filler there. And then I just added, oh, come on, some screws for detail. I screwed in the, the foam to the can. It just seemed easier that way. So on the top, I just cut out a little, a little foam pad. And I will screw that on each corner down. And that is how I will attach the gun portion to the battery or ammo box portion. Metal screws here, just kind of, kind of, sort of. So it's all attached. I just screwed up through the can into the, the PVC pipes and the next stage is I want to get everything a little more uh, ready to glue. It, it's, the gun is quite loose, uh, nothing's glued together so I want to put everything on, get it glued, get it secured before I start adding more 
things to it because it right now it's move, there's a lot of flex it's moving around a lot so this means that everything's got to be paintable paint ready so any kind of edges I don't want uh, rough I need to smooth out so it's gonna take a little time but through a little bit of uh, effort I can get everything smoothed out. That includes all this stuff. And then I'll probably fill, I, I might fill in here with something, uh, paintable silicone kind of thing, just to get everything a, a little nicer, ready to go. So I have everything sanded as well as I want to sand it. What I have here is some paintable silicone. And there's some gaps in here I'm just not, uh, I maybe wasn't as careful as I could have been, or I just, I'm just not happy with. So, just take a little bit and fill that in. I don't know how much it's showing up on camera because it's black. Again, good from far, far from good. And then I have a little soapy water down here a little bit on my finger and just uh, this just helps smooth out thin out just get it uh, a nice smooth transition so it doesn't look like silicone or sealer or whatever you want to call it this stuff sets up pretty quick so just set it set it aside to dry. You're good. So I started gluing it together the pipes. Uh, I'm using the adhesive you use for you know, uh, PVC, and uh, but I mean you can use any adhesive. This is not uh, for construction is just to be held together so um, if you were using this in, in home construction uh, you'd want to of course clean all your joints and prime them and get rid of all this these burrs and things but this is just for cosplay push together a bit of a twist Oh, and hold. Good. And again, don't do home construction if these were expected to hold water. Don't do them like this. Oh, I'm not super straight there. Next, I want to make this pipe here while the adhesive is setting up. So, I found this is a little leftover from another project. It's a a foam gun apparatus and I thought it would look good here so just a sheet metal screw in the center and then into the toy somewhere hopefully Somewhere in the back, really spinning on us. Screws really hold. So I got it roughly centered. I got some adjustability there. I'll cut up some pipe just to look like it's going in. So I want to make a little fold. Now I could heat this up and keep it and get it to curve, but it would be tough. And it's quite a curve, and I want a sharper uh, right angle. So what I do, I need to do is cut away the inside of the foam to give it some relief. So uh, slightly off center, I'll just make a a, a V cut. So carefully 
hopefully you can see that my knife is angled in and I'm not cutting all the way through I hope I'm just cutting don't cut all the way through and we should be able to take out this keep going more angle I'm going to peel that sucker away never always cut toward yourself and then got a nice sharp angle there and these are hopefully going to be feet now where it contacts it's also Veed. If I wanted to put that, you know, like this, you can hopefully see that is, it's not going to sit flush. So the similar deal, give it a little angle. You could sand this away, but it's just so much easier to, and this I do want to cut all the way through, of course, just to cut that angle. Same on this side. And that should sit. We wanted to show you some of the progress so far. Just what I've done. I glued, there was a little tear here and then I just glued a little foam there to cover it just to give it some detail. I put the textured side of the foam up. Again I thought that would get the detail. Glued on a water bottle. I don't know if it's going to be recognizable as a water bottle. I could screw off the cap, but the back of the gun. Some of this, I'll add fill here, some silicone, just uh, to cover it up. I added these little uh, bases just so it would stand up. If, you, if I ever needed to set it down so it won't flip or flop over and then the next uh, no, no. the next stage here is this piece of conduit I wanted to add so it'll it'll come from here and then go down and I'll just shove it in there and then it'll stand up. And after that, I'm just I'm about done. There's a little let's see here. There's a little pouch here. I wanted to add that as well. So let me see. Yeah, it's kind of right under the water bottle. Starter motor, maybe. So I'll back up a bit. Give you a bit of a look at what's going on. The business end coming together. All right. Okay, the glues are drying. What I have, or what I found, is this little come on 50 cent uh, travel pouch. And I think I bought it with the intention of using it. Where am I? Right here. So um, I'll just maybe fill it full of foam scraps just to keep it or whatever. And just to keep it not from crushing. But I do have a plan for it. And I'm going to surprise you with it. So um, we'll 
glue that there and then you'll see. Okay, check it out. Right there. That might, uh, I'm liking it. I might change that image or I might not. Let me know what you think. Okay, I am ready to go to paint. I'm back from paint, black paint anyway, and pretty happy. The image to me, it looks kind of a patchy gray. It's, uh, you know, like a galvanized or just raw tin. Make it your own. So, a uh, little bit of dry rub silver. Darn cat. Uh, will uh, add detail. You can look through other videos and see that, but... Yeah, so add some damage, add some detail. Like if I were, where are you looking? Uh, you're kind of at the bottom, but but adding a little bit of silver accents here, just dry, just even on your finger, whatever. Um, it, it, it would give it a metallic look. Heavy's gun doesn't have that, so I'm not adding it. Now at least, I may add that later. So I'm just going for a gray. I don't. I probably should be mixing more up, but since it's all different colors of pretty dark um, gray, kind of a raw metal look. Um, I'm not concerned because I can have different shades. I don't want marble, but, but and uh, kind of going for a base coat here. Just saying, I'm super happy how it turned out so far. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep painting gray. I'll maybe bring you on in on the second coat, just uh, you know to add some detail. But like already all blotchy. Can you, well, you can't even see. Already all blotchy, it's looking pretty decent. So I kind of a second batch, second coat mixed up. Where? Yeah. And I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but it's it's a bit of a lighter coat and I'm just I may have done too much already but I'm just dabbing here and there I may go back with a, a darker coat I don't know but just to give it the the galvanized look there's some areas in behind I can't get to with this brush. I'll switch to a different, different brush if I can't get it. Oh, that's, oh well. And then uh, if I overdo it, I can always go back with a little black brush and touch up. But there are some areas I got gray. But I mean that, uh, it's about done. A little bit of black here on the screw heads and that's it so this is it final product you are closer than most people would be hopefully you get a good focus there this is my detail or lack thereof you can decide. 
of course red tip and then I'm leaving the yellow in there and I don't know how anyone would mistake this for a real gun but you can never be too safe try it yourself I may have skipped some steps but the point here is I just I want to inspire you to you to try something like this. And while I was waiting for paint to dry and glue to dry, I came up with another little project. Okay. Let's find Sasha.